Hey guys, how you doing? And welcome back to a new episode of The Road to Legacy, where guys, it is time to move onwards and move to a new team. Now, whilst we've been at AC Milan, we have won everything. Everything we can possibly win, minus one competition, the Super Cup. Now, it's that time of, time of my career as a manager on FIFA where I need to move on. And I had a look at the options. I had a look, I really did. And I thought Bayern Munich and Borussia Dortmund, I'm not ready to go to Germany. I want to go somewhere hot. I want to go somewhere I'm quite. I know quite a bit about. I want to head to Spain, and here we go. We have Barcelona, who finished third, and we have Real Madrid, who are currently in real life going through a little bit of an issue, and that is where we want to go. So Real Madrid are currently going through the issue where um, Zidane's just come in, loads of players want to leave, and they are having issues with their team. And we are going to go over there. Take Zidane back out of it. They've heard that Celtic Josh is available. And we are going to apply for the job at Real Madrid. Now, before we take that job, we are going to do a bit of a squad tour of the um, AC Milan team. But before we do anything, guys, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you haven't watched any of the episodes of The Road to Legacy yet, I highly recommend you go and do just that. This this is going to be a big career mode. Um, we're currently two seasons in, and if we go to our office and we go to my career, you will see that overall, we've managed one club, won two league titles in two years, two domestic, domestic cups, two continental cups, and our biggest record transfer was a 98 million transfer. Now, if we have a look at here, so first season, um, we won the league, um, we won the domestic cup, we won the continental cup, which at the time was the Europa League. Look at this. So, UEFA Super Cup, we got to the final, we didn't win, unfortunately. Champions League, um, we didn't play in the Champions League. Oh, no, wait, that was this year. Yeah, that was this year. We won the Champions League, won the Super Cup at the start of the season, won the Cup of National, and we won the Serie A, and we also went unbeaten all year, which is just unbelievable. And then the year before, um, we won the Super Cup again, we won the Cup of National, we won the Serie A, and we won the Europa League. Guys, we're just, we're just a phenomenal manager. That's all I'm going to say. This team is just brilliant. Um, like I've said... It's got to that stage where we're moving onwards and upwards with the team. We're going to simulate a little bit further forward to see whether we have been offered the job at Real Madrid. Because if we have, we're going to take it. And there we go. We on the board would like to offer you the manager role here at Real Madrid. So before we do that, let's go and have a look at the team. And let's go have a look at this squad that we have built. We're going to go straight over to the squad hub here. So Donnarumma, one of the originals. One of my favourite players. Possibly someone I'm going to bring with me to Real Madrid. I mean... Courtois is there, but Donnarumma is my guy, and I think he will be joining us at Real Madrid. Um, Plazeri never really got got a chance here. Um, I feel for him; he's got a lot of prospects. His contract's expiring. Maybe the new manager will give him a, another chance. Now, Calabria, um, brilliant defender, brilliant right back. It's done brilliantly for us. Very happy. One of the originals. Brilliant. Davison and Sanchez, the first player we brought into this club. Phenomenal. 23 years young, 88 rated overall. Is he going to be another player we bring in? I don't want to be bringing in everyone from this team. Um, I might bring in one or two players, but that's it. I want to play with some new players. Um, Kaldara played first season. Brilliant. Akanji played second season. You guys didn't really like Akanji, which is fair enough. But he did a job for me. Um, Delete, we bought him this season. Um, Hernandez this season, brilliant player, gone up to already. Rodriguez, sort of not had a chance this season, feel for him a little bit. Kante, the man, the myth, the legend. Love him, lift that Champions League trophy for me. Very happy with him. Um, Tonali, a player we could bring over. Um, Lacatelli, a player that you guys liked and we may bring over. Um, don't know about that guy. Nunes, now... <laughs> He was my scout future star and he's done nothing for me. So we're not going to be bringing him. He will stay here at um, AC Milan. I'm kind of devastated about that one. Would you like me to scout another future star at Real Madrid and see what we get? Let me know in the comments down below, guys. It would be brilliant. Um, Gnabry, bought him in. Bit of a disappointment, not going to lie. Eriksson, phenomenal. Dele Alli, phenomenal. Paqueta, a player I love. He's 22 years young, a Brazilian. I love him. He's phenomenal. May have to bring him with me. Depay, a player that was a little bit disappointed this season. Gareth Bale. The veteran, phenomenal, love him. Timo, been brilliant as well. Silva, been brilliant. Piatek, been brilliant. Guys, this team is just unbeatable. If we go and have a look here at the Serie A standings, you will see that we went undefeated. We are the Invincibles. We have left this team in a season where we have not lost a single game. And I don't know what else to say. Super Copa, we won that. Um, Copa Nacional, we won that. Um, we didn't do the America's Challenge Cup. Super Cup, we lost. Now, that is the only game we did lose. So, it's not all clear through. Um, but, hey, it's one of them. I think even in the group stage, we didn't 
we didn't even lose a game in the um, in the Champions League. No, we didn't. We didn't lose a game in the Champions League. We won everything in that group. Jesus, team is just unbelievable. I didn't mean to back out there. But yeah, right, go and see who won the Europa League. Because um, I would like to know who won the Europa League. Let's go and have a look here. Um, how did... Who won that? So, Lille beat Paris Saint-Germain on penalties. Damn, that's... That's pretty good. I keep backing out. Don't mean to back out. Um, so, but yeah, this is the team that went undefeated. We're, we're just too good. If we go over to the stats here, who was top goal scorer? Cristiano Ronaldo was top, top goal scorer. Depay, second. Ali, fifth. I mean, we bought Werner in January. Is Werner on here? Is he on here? Werner isn't on here. We only bought him in in January, but... Depay up there on top goal scorers. Assists, Ericsson, Ali, and Kante filling up that top five. What a team. Clean sheets, Donnarumma with 21 from 29 matches. Yellow cards are any of our players on there? I hope not. Um, no, none of our players are on there. What about red cards? Any of our players on there? Yes, they are. Rodriguez is on there with the one red card. But guys, I've just fallen in love with this team. It's brilliant, but it is time to go to a new challenge. It's time to go to a new country. It's time to to mix it up and we are going to probably the biggest club in the world Real Madrid let's accept this 115 grand a week bye bye Zidane hello Celtic Josh look at this guys what we're going to do now is I'm going to jump all the way to when we are, have this team and we're going to have a look at what we can do and what we are capable of so then guys this is the team we have here at real madrid now they're playing the 4-3-3 formation um fair enough i i like the 4-3-3 formation but it's something that we are going to change now i'm just looking through this team now seeing what they have done seeing where they have improved Bar barimi's come in obviously um in real life he's actually over there so that's fine valverde sent mid 81 rated 21 years young looking good um but i'm looking here and they haven't really bought in anyone major. Kovacic is back, so he's 87 rated overall, 26. He could be a key part. Now, I'm looking at this team, and I've already noticed a couple of weaknesses. First one being the striker position. Kramic is not good enough. He's just not good enough. 28 years old, 84 rated overall. That needs replacing. That could be changed very soon, so a striker is someone we need. Asensio, he can play on that wing, so we're going to let him play on that wing. Junior, I'd rather play in your favourite position. Junior's going to get a lot of game time with us this season. Um, we're probably only going to be here for one year, and then we'll move on to another team. Um, a left-back is obviously needed as well. Um, a new centre-back, probably. Manolas, 28. We could probably do with a new centre-back. Ordozola, 24. Could probably do with a new right-back. I mean, Modric. I like Modric, but he's 34 years old. Is it time to let the Croatian go? And bring in someone else to replace him. I mean, I don't know, guys. This team, it's a good team. We've got some good wingers. we got, good, I mean, Isco, why are you on the bench? This is what I don't get. Isco would be starting there like that. Um, Lorente can start. I mean, personally, I'd do that. Drop Cruz to the bench. Um, we got Zidane's son, who won't be with us. I'll be letting him go. Valverde can come onto the bench. Moreno can start, actually. No. and We need a new striker. End of. We need a new striker. We need a stronger defence. This team needs a lot of work. Lunin is here. This is a player I have, actually, on my RTG with um, Forest Green Rovers, and I love him. He's a phenomenal goalkeeper. We'll probably send him out on loan. Probably get rid of Navas. We'll probably do a swap deal for Courtois. I don't like Courtois in real life. I hate him and I'd prefer to bring Donnarumma here. So probably get a swap deal done there. And you know what? We might actually be able to do it straight off the bat. Now if we can, we get to head over to our former club. We get to go see what Donnarumma is about. See how much they want from him. You know what? And we are going to do this. Are we going to see if we can do a straight swap here? Um, I want Don, Don um, Donnarumma. Here he is. 21 years young. Shortlist you, you're 89 rated over you, has potential to be special. See whether you would do a sw straight swap for me, um, AC. Now, this will be my first transfer approach to buy. He's not got long left of his contract. We're going to do a straight swap. Courtois for Don Haluma. Who is in charge here? We don't know. We don't know who's in charge here. Um, this would be my first player swap. Let's go for a goalkeeper. Let's off you. Courtois, see what you say. How much do you want plus Courtois? Courtois plus 19 million. We'll counter that one. We'll drop that 29 million, sorry. We'll go to 15. Courtois plus 15, see what you say. 29 is where you're setting. Um, come on, meet me somewhere. We're giving you a good goalkeeper. Go 25 and you got a deal. I mean, 
And we, we're getting a brilliant deal out of this. Donnarumma is 21. Boom. There we go. Milan's rep has taken him. And they are not going to be happy that we are bringing in to Donnarumma straight away. We're going to go straight to negotiate this. Now, this is something I wanted to do. Um, now it's all up into your hands. We've brought in Donnarumma. We've done the swap deal for Courtois. And it's something which I think needed to be done at this team. Um, Courtois is a player that isn't favoured at the club, at Real Madrid. He's not wanted. He's pretty old now um, in this career mode. But he wants a release clause. Mm. Deny release clause. We can move forward without sending a release clause. So yeah, that's fine. You want 92... Right, okay. I was a bit worried there that we're going to do that. So we're going to remove bonuses. We're going to edit wage and sign on. We're, I'm going to give you a lot of money, Donnarumma, to come here. I'm going to give you 150 grand a week. No signing on bonus. Nothing like that. Um, just because I want you here, mate. We we bought you up as as the manager of AC Milan. We bought you up. We gave you the chance. 89 rated overall. 100, that's not quite a climb sector, but he's eager to join your club. Brilliant. Donnarumma will be joining us next season. Courtois will be out. Um, but yeah, that is where we stand. So guys, you look at this team. Donnarumma will be coming in goal. We need a new defend centre back. We need a new left back. We need a new right back. We need a new midfielder. And we need a new striker. We need five new players. Get in the comments down below, guys, and let me know. This is going to be a big one. We're probably only going to be here for one season. Let me know if you think I should scout a future star with this club as well. Um, I think we I think we sh could do it, and it would be quite interesting to see whether we get anyone. Um, I'm happy to do it. It's up to you guys. I'm not going to I'm going to leave that up to you lot. Uh, but, yeah, let me know. We need literally players in all positions, apart from a goalkeeper. We've sorted that one out. Guys, I hope you've had an awesome day. I hope you're looking forward to this career mode as much as me. And yeah, I will see you hopefully tomorrow in tomorrow's episode. If there's not a video up tomorrow, there will be one up on Sunday. Um, if there's not one up on Sunday, I, I can only apologise, guys. Got so much going off. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do in my life. But yeah, hope you have an awesome day, guys. Have an awesome week. If you're new to the channel, leave a like, subscribe for the second part of this Road to Legacy career mode with Real Madrid. Let's see what we can do, guys. Have an awesome day and peace out.